and thank you for joining us for News 19 at 7. I'm Kaylin Hagwood in for J.R. Berry and we begin with breaking news out of Kershaw County where there has been a hazardous material spill that has caused the shutdown of a section of Interstate 20. At this time we're told this is affecting all lanes between exits 82 and 92. Now that is the area stretching from Northeast Columbia into the Elgin community. Those are the exits that lead to Spears Creek Church Road and Sumter Highway, which is also known as State Road 521. Elgin police tell us the spill is centered around a chemical plant in that area. Right now, we do not know what chemicals are involved. These are traffic cameras in the area. You can see there are no, well, there's actually a pileup of vehicles waiting to try to get through that area as the area has been halted while investigators take a look at that spill. And at this hour, we are told that we have Kershaw County Sheriff Lee Bone on standby to talk to us a little bit more as they work through this investigation. All right, Sheriff, final thoughts, message to people who are living out there uh, who may be concerned again. What should they be doing right now? Uh, yeah, if you, again, if you're close to the plant, especially uh, you know, from where Larry Jeffers is, if you're on the opposite side of the interstate, Highway 12 side, uh, you can just go ahead and get out of the area for a little while. I want to turn to our chief meteorologist, Efren Afonte. Efren, I know you have been uh, monitoring this. you got the traffic uh, maps there behind you. What should people know? Where should they be traveling now to avoid this? Well, first of all, if you're traveling eastbound on I-20 coming out of Richland County, there's a little bit of a slowdown. But the big thing is that if you're coming through areas from, say, Camden, Central Kershaw County, down I-20, it's already parking lot past exit 92, which is the exit for 601. Absolutely. So talk about some of those alternate routes. Where should people we, be going? And, and as we're, we're speaking, we actually see people on that interstate attempting to turn around. What is your advice for drivers and, and where should they reroute themselves to? You know, we're going to get traffic flowing. We understand in, in today's world, uh, a lot of people don't pack their patients, so they want to they wanna get uh, turned around. That's in a, a dangerous situation. But our main focus is traffic safety keeping the motor safe uh, and finding alternate routes because again I-20 is a major corridor in the afternoon hours and there's a lot of people heading to the beach a lot of people heading heading home and we know that they need to get to their destination safely so we ask them to pack their patient follow traffic direction and know that if we send you a certain route and that route changes that is for your safety. All right sir thank you so much for your time stay safe out there you and your crews. Now we begin with the latest on that chemical spill as parts of Interstate 20 in Richland and Kershaw counties are now open after being shut down for about four hours due to the hazardous material. Now tonight we are hearing from the fire chief who says evacuations in the Lugoff Elgin area have also ended. Certainly a busy scene. Here's another look at the BP gas station on White Pond Road a short time ago as agencies from across the Midlands gathered in response to that spill. It is where our Peyton Lewis has been at that area and joins us now live. Peyton, I know some of those emergency crews have started to leave. How are residents responding? Tonight we're here along White Pond Road where crews just were a few hours ago. They were all parked at this BP that we're at here and they were directing traffic and making sure they had a game plan for how they were going to address the chemical spill that happened at Wellchem at around 6 o'clock this afternoon. Well, Wellchem has responded to what happened tonight at its facility in Elgin. The company says all employees were evacuated and there were no injuries. Now, they said that it is in part, quote, the authorities are on site assisting in response and have set up a secure perimeter. They are assessing the situation to determine whether that perimeter can be reduced. While Kim adds it will not bring the unit back online until they can have a complete and full investigation and understanding of the source of the issue. Well, let's take a closer look now, a little history on the chemical plant. Lockheed's website says that it creates at least 18 chemicals. A closer look at some of their operations here, there on your screen. Now, they say that they do a variety of products and different uses. Their chemicals are used in many different industries, including electronics, plastic chemicals, agriculture, textiles, and coatings, as well as additives and lubricants and pharmaceuticals.